really beautiful toucan. I'm not mad about it. Hey guys, it's Julia. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, Obvi, is a get ready with me, testing out new releases and just um, venting. I have a lot of really fun new releases I wanted to test out with you guys, and they are currently strewn about me in a really disorderly fashion, so that's fun. I love cleaning up. Figured I'd film down here today. I'm filming a little bit later in the day, so the lighting upstairs was just ass, and it looked really nice and well lit down here, so I figured I'd sit down and just do a nice try to get ready with me. And I am wearing extensions today because I wanted to feel like that bitch. And my extensions company was actually kind of to sponsor today's video. I love getting sponsors from products like I genuinely already use in my daily life. So my extensions are from Ruse Hair. I love supporting indie brand hair companies and wig companies and they make some of the most beautiful high quality hair that I've tested out in a long time. Let me just get up and show you what they look like. These are the 22 inch ones. My color is dark chocolate. I was kind of worried that they were going to look weird with my current like baby lights that I have right now but they blend really beautifully. I got the 160 weight and they look really good with my very naturally thick hair. And I've just been missing having like long hair that I can kind of do this with. Obviously I have been rocking the shorter cut this summer and every time I cut my hair, I just kind of like miss having long hair. And the reason I cut my hair that short was because I had so much damage that I really needed to just get everything healthy again. So while my hair has been growing out, I've been loving to have extensions just to kind of give me that look that I've really been missing. Anyways, they're really shiny, just great quality extensions and the price point is amazing. I will have these linked down below. Thank you again to Ruse Hair for sponsoring today's video. So without further ado, let's get into this get ready with me to see how I created this parrot-esque look. <laughs> Okay, my skin is completely clean. I have literally nothing on my skin. So I actually wanna start off with skin prep because I have this collection called the Dewy Glow. And I wanna see if it's gonna give me a Dewy Glow. This is a new collection from Innisfree. They are definitely one of my favorite skincare brands. But this is the Dewy Glow Toner, Dewy Glow Emulsion, and Dewy Glow Jelly Cream. And they're just supposed to be for like hydration and giving you a Dewy Glow. Um, count the number of times I say Dewy Glow in this video. Um, love that this collection is themed around sakura cherry blossoms. That's something that's very near and dear to my upbringing So and each of the products have a very light cherry scent. It's not anything too fragrant It's a very like light and gentle fragrance. I'm gonna go in with the emulsion now It's kind of like a thin watery lotion. You're supposed to use toner emulsion and then the cream I'm so thankful that my skin has been like low-key really thriving this summer I think last summer my skin was having some of its worst patches like to a point where before get ready with me, so I would put a disclaimer like, hey, sorry about my skin. I'm just very happy with how far I come and I've learned a lot more about skincare. Maybe I might be a dermatologist someday. We don't know. I'm gonna finish it off with the jelly cream. This is such an interesting texture. It kind of feels like halfway set jello. It's really like, like jiggly. <laughs> it's super weightless, just really gliding. All right, that is the Dewy Glow collection. I'm gonna take a look at my face and see if I'm a dewy queen yet. Oh wait, I was always a dewy queen. Face matches the shirt. <laughs> I've been using this collection as my morning skin prep. I think it's a little better for morning than it is for night just because they're so light. Oh, I almost forgot sunscreen. Never, ever. My friend Lauren brought this back for me from France. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Jacques Touche Sec. This is like a cult favorite sunscreen and I've just been trying to like branch out and test out new things. And as if my face wasn't already aggressively dewy enough, I'm gonna use the Ulla Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. Definitely luminous, but it's one of my favorite skincare infused primers. Very gentle. I've really been like kind of rethinking my entire makeup collection lately. I I've been decluttering a whole bunch of things behind the scenes, so I will probably be doing a video showing you things I'm decluttering, but it's kind of been this like ongoing declutter since June. I realized like I'm not using so many things in my collection and not appreciating so many things that I used to love. My collection and the entire beauty world of new releases and oversaturation of content has been getting really a lot for me this summer. So that's kind of the main thing I wanna chat with you guys about in this video. On that note, here's the primer all blended out and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my, where to go? Number one favorite foundation. Oh, I'm sorry. Foundation. If you have not watched the review yet, it is in the cards. I love this foundation so much. It's kind of been all I've wanted to wear for the past like two weeks or so, which is another thing. Like I'm finding myself gravitating towards the same things over and over again, and not even wanting to like dive back into my makeup collection to find things that I used to love because it's just gotten too overwhelming. So that was when I knew I really needed to start like decluttering and getting rid of a lot of things because somehow I didn't even realize but my favorite series that I do is new makeup releases favorite than fails where I review say like 10 to 15 
new releases every month, which means I add at minimum 10 to 15 new products to my collection every month. And I definitely wasn't decluttering at a rate to match that. So my collection was just growing and growing. And as a result, things were just getting lost. And I hit a point in summer where I just kind of realized I'm not taking all of this up to college. I'm taking a few things. Every time I come home, I'll like switch them out and bring them back up. But even though I'm not trying to haul this entire collection up to college, I don't want all these things just sitting at home not being used. I need to kind of clear things up and just be more mindful of things I buy. Thankfully, I think I've been getting a lot better about letting go of things and not putting such an emotional attachment on makeup products and just really trying to focus on things I really love. However, the beauty world and makeup brands have definitely not done the same thing. Probably been the most like hyper consumer summer I've ever been in. I'm gonna go ahead and do concealer. This is the Cover FX Power Play. So I've been on my kind of journey of downsizing to a more reasonable or just like less overwhelming collection because my makeup collection will never be like reasonable. Beauty brands have been releasing so much this summer to a point where I was just kind of not interested in anything that was coming out. I just I lost interest in makeup and that was scary to me because I love doing this so much. It's such a stress reliever for me. So when it was starting to stress me out how much was being released, I was like, something is wrong here. I honestly feel that the beauty world has become so huge that we lose a lot of control within it. Or just like the oversaturation of the YouTube world in general. I've gone through a couple ruts this summer. I've felt really uninspired with my content. There's like no new ideas that I have because there's so many people in the beauty space. I'm not in that rut right now. I'm very happy with my channel right now, but, but it's kind of been this like weird summer where nothing just feels right and nothing feels like, oh, this is great. I'm gonna go ahead and set that in immediately with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. It's super strange because I've never felt closer to my audience. I, I've never felt closer to you guys and more in touch with you guys and how happier with the people that I've connected with and the online friends I've made, which I'll talk about that later because I've got some people I wanna celebrate. I've never been happier with where my channel is at, but more disappointed with the beauty world at large. And I think a lot of other people are feeling that kind of disillusionment too. And no one really knows where to put the responsibility for this kind of shift in the beauty community. A lot of people are blaming like bigger YouTubers, Jaclyn Hill, Jeffree Star, James Charles, etc. A lot of people are blaming beauty brands. And if you're like me, you don't really know where to place the blame because I don't really think there's one singular place to put the blame for this kind of weird shift in the community that just makes me feel kind of icky. For me, it's been this super noticeable thing of just brands releasing way too much. Is that like a personal attack or something? A lot of creator burnout on both my end and other people's ends. And for me, this kind of exasperation with how large my makeup collection's gotten, just being kind of overwhelmed by it all. Let me know, I think it's a compelling discussion to have. I've seen some people talking about it. Figured I'd share my thoughts on it because why not? Gonna go ahead and cream contour with the Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade Amber. I hope any of what I said makes it into the final cut of this video. You guys have no idea how much like I edit out of like points that went nowhere. Cause sometimes I'll just start a sentence and barely even finish it on a coherent thought. My mind just goes like, and then my mouth is kind of just like, what the fuck is that? Someday I will come out with like a bloopers video so you can see just how much stuff gets cut out of my videos. If any of you guys ever meet me in public, I'm sorry in advance if I'm awkward or not as funny as I seem on camera because um, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuttering that gets edited out, man. While I've been in this kind of like strange limbo state of summer with the beauty community, I've kind of remedied that by finding a lot of smaller creators who I really connect with and love watching their content. I just want to give a shout out to some of my favorite smaller creators who I'm privileged enough to call my internet friends. If you don't follow me on Twitter, which you should, I think Twitter is the best social media platform. Don't even fight me on that, you know it's true. But I just wanted to give my shout outs to Nisa, Nisa Pisa, my whole queen, Hannah from Smoky Glow, Abby Williamson. They are some of my favorite refreshing voices in the beauty community and, and they are wonderful people who I'm lucky enough to call friends. So please check them out. Please support smaller creators and smaller creators interact with your audience more. It makes them happy, it'll make you happy too. Um, it's one of the most rewarding things. Oh, that was so mushy. Wow, that was so mushy, I'm sorry. I like how I was barely even like paying attention to blending out my foundation and it still looks amazing. The power of Anastasia. I'm actually gonna go ahead and set my face down with a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Powder. This is still my favorite pressed powder. I try to use it sparingly because I get a new one every like six months or so. I usually ask for it for Christmas or for my birthday. So like December I get a new one, May I get a new one, December and so on. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow because nothing ever changes here. <laughs> And I'm kind of back on using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. Just a very, very cautious, small amount because this is super, super, super pigmented. But it is one of the strongest brow gels ever. And I think it gives a really nice, like, feathery look. I'm trying to grow out my brow hairs. I overplucked and kind of overshaved them a little bit. 
and I've just been suffering ever since. I'm also looking into getting eyelash extensions. I might do that just for like the start of the semester because I don't know, I haven't been able to find lashes, very subtle strip lashes, nice and luscious enough and not like plasticky looking, but aren't too long and crazy. Because I personally need to wear lashes. I just like the way my eyes look with them. My favorite like natural lashes, which are the iconic lights from House of Lashes. Those are still a little bit like too long for me to feel comfortable wearing to like everyday classes. <laughs> if you guys have any recommendations for like very nice natural lashes that are um, preferably under $10, let me know. But I'm probably gonna try out extensions just for shits and giggles because I've never done it before. The blush and bronzer today, I wanna use my Jouer duos because they're beautiful. This is the bronzer duo and then I also have the blush duo in the shade Flirt, um, which is, which are these two beautiful shades. As strange and weird as my relationship with like the beauty world has been this summer, make no mistake, this has been one of the best summers of my life and I've never been at a place where I'm like happier and I've had a great summer hanging out with friends from my personal life, making new YouTube friends who I've been able to interact with almost daily online. I have my own merch. I'm dropping some new merch in September. I've gotten to relax for the first time in like four years. Not that much because I have been taking an organic chemistry class over summer, but it's my first summer where I'm kind of just like, you can breathe for a little bit. I finally had the courage to have the procedure that I wanted for almost two and a half years. I've never felt better or more confident with my body. My surgeon has become this incredible mentor who's given me so many amazing tips about my future medical career. This summer has been amazing. I'm not happy with the entire beauty community as a whole, but I'm happy with my little corner of the beauty community right here. You guys have been everything to me. And this, so I'm doing great over here in my corner. Meanwhile, ColourPop is out here just wildin'. I think I'm gonna use this brighter pink shade here called Kiss Me. I'm, uh, I'm just in a very like aggressively colorful mood today. So like, let's go for it. These are such a beautiful formula. They're like a silky powder. They're almost kind of like bouncy in texture. And they just blend like air. They blend like nothing on the cheeks. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this very, very light pink shade and just kind of like pat that onto the apples of my cheeks. All right, so for my eyes, I knew I wanted to use one of these Kaleidos palettes. These are the limited edition summer futurism palettes. You guys know how much I love the regular futurism palettes. This is the futurism four in VR neon. This gives me sour skittles. This gives me life, feeds my colorful soul. The futurism five electro turquoise. I've also done a look with this one. This is stunning. I really, really, really love this bright orange shade here. One of the most amazing neon shades. I really was torn on which one I wanted to use on camera to create a look today. So I asked you guys on Instagram stories and I haven't checked yet. So let's see. It's a really close split. 59 percent wanted the neon palette and 41 percent wanted the turquoise palette when i'm checking it right now it's only been up for like 45 minutes i think i might use both yeah i think that's that's the reasonable conclusion here okay i just did one off camera just to kind of theorize what i was going to do with these two palettes because obviously there's a lot of like different colors there's a lot of choices of things so my neurotic ass was like oh my god let me plan this out and i'm kind of in love with this tropical sour skittle eyes so we're going to recreate it on this side i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes this is the anastasia beverly hills eye primer that i squirted out into this empty tart eye cream thing i was just getting so annoyed by the packaging flaw so i just had to take out my anger on this so far i really have not noticed any like problems with the formula drying up in a pot like this so if you wanted to i think this is a really viable solution to the packaging problem Okay, I'm just gonna start off and I'm gonna grab this like bright neon green shade in the Futurism Neon palette. And I've never found like a lime green shade like this that performs quite on the caliber of this one here. Literally <laughs> quaking. What else do I wanna talk about? College, why not? As I said, I've been decluttering because in about a little bit over a month, I am gonna be moving out of this house that I've lived in for my entire life. It is only like an hour and a half away from my school, so, so I will be able to like come down here and I'll probably be filming most videos down here. But I have this whole chapter of my life ahead of me. I'm so excited, also so scared. But I'm really most excited for the fresh start. Um, obviously I'm entering college single, which means I get to make new relationships, but also new friendships. And I'm excited. I think that's a really great way to enter a new chapter of your life is with an almost blank slate. I have friends that I know and love now that I know that I want to have in my life forever. That's the thing, moving on and finding new things doesn't mean you have to leave behind things that worked for you. The beauty for the fresh start is you can really choose what you want to take with you from the last chapter of your life. And I'm super excited. I sat down last week and I had this whole like five year planning session with my life where I was like, what are some goals I want to achieve? Not just in the next five years, but in my lifetime. And what can I do in the next five years to like start getting those goals? One of the things I decided I really want to do is in addition to getting my bachelor's degree and getting my MD. I also really want to earn a PhD at some point in my life. That's just a huge educational goal for me. I know it takes a lot of dedication, 
um, and I honestly don't know at what point in my life I'll be able to fit that in. But yeah, oh shoot, I'm so sorry. I'm such a bad beauty YouTuber. I've been using this blue shade right here on the outer corner just to add some extra dimension after I went in with this bright blue shade here in the crease. But yeah, just kind of like sitting down and planning things out in my life um, has really taken a lot of the stress of not being sure what's gonna happen. I still don't know what's gonna happen, but at least I know like I'll be okay no matter what happens. And that's probably the most important thing. But thank you to all of my big sisters on here who've been giving me advice. It's very much appreciated it. And I'm so excited to get to share this journey with you because I, a lot of my audience are young girls who are under the age of 18. And I think it's so important to share the message of education. Important is to stay in school and keep pursuing your educational goals no matter what happens, because that's one thing that you can always count on. And I'm glad that I get to share my journey with it. Of course, to my comfort zone, because I still like, this is something I'm very like wary about sharing online, but I do think it's a journey that's worth sharing online. Once again, I chatted through the entirety of that step. So I took this bright, like white shimmery shade here and popped it right in the middle to kind of create this like faux halo eye. And then to add a little bit of extra shine, I use the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Glitter Toppers. These are kind of like the Stila Magnificent Metals, but I find that they don't dry out quite as quickly. So a little bit better value. And I use the white shade here called mono white really pretty i'm gonna grab this bright yellow shade here from the neon palette and this is one of the most beautiful matte yellows i've ever seen in my life look how beautifully bright that is so i'm just kind of sticking that right in the inner part of my tear duct and blending it downwards i have deep deep bags under my eyes unfortunately my insomnia has not gotten better this summer which i really thought it was going to <laughs> but i haven't been sleeping very well at all i'm planning to visit my general physician actually and ask her like what's up because i shouldn't be having this right now like i'm not incredibly stressed out like i was during the school year i don't know why i'm having such awful sleep problems but um it's an issue so i will definitely try and take care of it been seeing the effects here so so when my dark circles are particularly bad i'll just blend brown eyeshadow really deep down to my eye socket and just give me that like oh no i meant to do this with my eyeshadow <laughs> kind of look fake it till you make it right bet you that was olivia jade senior quote i'm not fucking done she fucking did that is like tropical bright toucan eyes. I'm in love. I'm gonna take a little bit of this touch and soul white thingy again. And for the brightest, most obnoxious inner corner highlight ever, just kind of pop that right in the middle. Oh my God. And then I love using Ofra's powder highlighters for inner corners, especially the white ones. They're just really ridiculously blinding. Just kind of finesse that right on there. All right, that is the look I've created with these two Kaleidos palettes. I'm not saying that these are the palettes of summer, but I'm heavily implying it. <laughs> I honestly think that these two and the ColourPop uh, Honey Palette are my favorite eyeshadow palettes I've tried this entire summer. For mascara, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Essence Lash Princess. I believe it was Abby Williamson who talked about this recently and I was like, oh yeah, I did love that mascara. So she's gotten me back into using this one. Um, this is so good. As much as I love my Kush mascara and my Hourglass Caution mascara um, and my Urban Decay, and Urban Decay Perversion, I think drugstore does really really good mascaras and honestly it's one of those things i don't think that you have to buy high-end i generally think that high-end eyeshadows are better but like you can find the most amazing drugstore mascaras and this is definitely one of the best ones oh i forgot to bring lashes down here with me um let me just go grab some lashes upstairs ow okay i had a really really intense butt workout yesterday and i can't sit down without feeling like my butt's gonna fall off so that's fun i'm gonna be using the um jaclyn hill cosmetics lashes and they style smoochy yeah these look like a good pair of lashes that i can put on for like 30 minutes to take pictures and then wash off with the rest of my face i think it's honestly funny that most of my get ready with me is i actually don't like get ready for anything i get ready on camera in terms of like doing my makeup I film the video i take a few pictures i do a couple instagram stories i might leave it on for like an hour just to kind of flounce around my house and then i wash it off and i go to like target <laughs> oh, i think these lashes suit the eye look really nicely i when i was going through my very like dramatic makeup phase wore these types of lashes to school <laughs> and now i'm looking for lashes that are even more subtle than the iconic lights to wear to class so once again if you guys have any recommendations please let me know oh and if anybody has extensions like let me know what should i expect is it is it good do you like them would you recommend doing that or would you say I should just stick with lashes. Cause so far the most like natural looking lashes that still give me the effect that I want, but don't look too crazy are just like doing individual lashes. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't have the time to stick individual lashes on in the morning before class. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spray on some of the Farsali Rose Gold Skimmist to make me extra dewy. Oh, 
I've really been loving spraying my face right before I do highlighter. It just brings it to this next level of craze. Highlighter, I have my entire over palette of things in here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use Star Island. This is my favorite like neutral, very versatile highlighter. And then I kind of just take my sponge and tap it out just to meld it a little bit more with my skin. I like how the face is like already dewy enough that I don't technically need to use highlighter, but am I gonna? Oh my God. Cupid's bow. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Um, and up. I really think I did something there. All right, I'm gonna finish off with some lips. The weird thing about filming downstairs is that I have to bring like every lip option downstairs with me because I don't want to take two trips. I mean, they're all nudes. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. This is the, I'm gonna see if this one works. This is the Kathleen Lights Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Dreamy. Colourpop, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. It's a lot. It's a lot of makeup, <laughs> but are we scared of that? No. Just pull my, pull my hair in. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me chatty style testing out new releases only about a week longer left to pick up the dewy merch that i was wearing this entire video so um, so go ahead and do that bonfire.com slash julia c mazzucato thank you so much again to ruse hair for sponsoring today's video i mean i look good right <laughs> if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that really helps me out a lot if you sure you subscribe to this channel and follow me down below on instagram to see makeup looks like this posted all throughout hot girl summer if you made it to the very end of this video and if you made it to the very end of this video you dewy cherry blossoms you get the bonus theme bye